What's up guys, I am Psycho Caddy and today I'm going to show you how to edit the system sounds on your Tyrannus QX7. Now the system sounds are like countdowns for your timers or the throttle position warning or the switch position warning. All that simple stuff that comes with the original files you downloaded to your SD card. One of the things that I found missing with the QX7 when I first got it was the fact that it didn't do a startup sound. When you start up the X9D and X9D Plus, before you edit anything, it will say, welcome to OpenTX or whatever the it is that it says. But it doesn't do that with the QX7. It just doesn't say anything when you start it up. Thankfully, we had a viewer to save the day. I'm gonna butcher his name, but I'm gonna put it his channel up in the corner up here. Thomas Veselvic put me up on how to actually get those sounds to play. Thank you, Thomas, for that tip. First thing we're gonna do is put our Tyrannus QX7 into bootloader mode. If you'll remember, push in your trim tabs, hit the power button really quickly. Then we can plug in our USB cable and it will allow us to access the SD card on our Tyrannus QX7. So here is the SD card files on our QX7. We're gonna open that up and we're gonna go down here, up here to sounds. English and these are your system files as we said before these are all your special files if we open up the system files as I said before all these are just basic numbers zero six twelve for counting down things of that nature that the radio will tell you for let's see here we have our RSSI low sound RSSI low RSSI critical RSSI critical now, this file here, Tada, um, used to be our startup sound file on the X9D, or not ours, but on people who have the X9D and X9D Plus. This file would play when you start the radio up. Welcome to OpenTX. And there were a couple options. There was another one I've deleted on, uh, I, said it, I think it's Tada underscore OpenTX, and it would just say something else along that line, that kind of thing. And that won't work with the QX7. So what we have to do is rename this to hello and then it will play on our QX7. But I've got a file that I want to put on here for my startup sound and I'm gonna put it in here under hello. Now, if we wanna change any of these whatsoever, we would just have to create the sound file that we want, rename it to whatever. So say we wanted our, um, we wanted to change our RSSI, RSSI low. low to some other sound, any other sound in the world. We create our sound, rename it to RSSI underscore org and place it in this file and overwrite this one. Once that's overwritten, it will play whatever sound that you've overwritten it with. All of these have to be overwritten. You can't put a new one in here and then choose it in the system file. It has to be named whatever these are so if you want to change your trim maximum maximum trim sound you would go in here you put your file in here rename it to in trim and your maximum trim file would play the new sound if you want uh, your throttle alert if your switch is uh your throttle is up when you start it up it'll say uh uh let's see where's it at throttle warning it'll say throttle warning when you start your radio if the throttle is not all the way at zero. If you wanted to say something other than that, you would choose the file that you want, name it throw alert or throw alert and put it in here, overwrite this file and it'll play whatever you want it to play. Now for the QX7, as I said, it has to say, it has to say hello to be our startup sound. I've already created one I like here. I'm just gonna copy it in over here and now I have hello in here. This is our new sound. Now, instead of being blank as the radio was when I first got it, no, no kind of um, startup sound, this sound will play when I start my radio. We're gonna go ahead and eject our QX7. And now it's safe to unplug and it will reboot. When it reboots, it starts over. Oh no, first I've got to hit exit, my bad. Now it will reboot when I push the enter button. And we have our startup sound. I hope. Warning. Switch warning. Angle. Too many switches. 
I hope that that was easy to follow. If not, you know, post some questions down below. And thank you again to Thomas Velswick for um, putting me up on how to get that startup sound going. I should have the splash screen, how to do the splash screen video up tomorrow, or I'll get started on it real good tomorrow and then have it up Thursday or maybe earlier. I think I'll start on it after I get done with this. All right, that's it for this one. We will see you on the next one or in the next one. Bye.